Good morning, children. Today I am in front of you to have the next class on the topic chemical reactions and equations. Before beginning to the portions, we will have a silent prayer seeking blessings from our God Almighty. Thank you all. In the last classes, we have studied about different types of chemical reactions. Combination reactions, decombustion reaction, single displacement reaction and double displacement reaction. Four different types of reactions we have studied. And the last class we have discussed about single displacement and double displacement. Single displacement means the reaction in which one of the reactant displaces element of another reactant which is depending upon the reactivity of the reactants. We studied on as example also. And uh, double displacement on the other hand is having exchange of ions between the reactants. And it is also known to be precipitation reaction. With that note, we are moving on to the fifth type of reaction and it is known to be redox reaction. This reaction is known by the name redox or another name is oxidation reduction reaction. That is redox reaction is also known to be oxidation reduction reaction. So before entering into the redox reaction, we should know what do the terms oxidation and reduction means. Oxidation, two new terms. One is oxidation and the other is reduction. Oxidation means it is the process in which a substance is either gaining oxygen or removing hydrogen. Oxidation means accepting oxygen. Accepting oxygen or removing hydrogen from an object. That is, an object is said to be oxidized when it is accepting oxygen or removing hydrogen. So, what will be reduction? It is just opposite of what is oxidation. Reduction means accepting hydrogen or removing oxygen. As an example, we can see Mg plus O2 reaction between magnesium and oxygen. What is happening to magnesium? It is accepting oxygen resulting into the production of compound magnesium oxide. So, magnesium is said to be oxidized. Magnesium is oxidized. It received oxygen and resultant product is formed. So, magnesium is oxidized here. And see the second one example that is reaction between hydrogen and chlorine. Cl2 is accepting hydrogen and forming the compound or product HCl. What is happening to this chlorine? Chlorine is accepting hydrogen and forming the new product. So what happened to chlorine here? What is meant by accepting of hydrogen? It is said to be reduction. So here what happened to chlorine? Chlorine is reduced for the formation of HCl. So I hope you have understood the terms oxidation and reduction. What is oxidation? It is the process of accepting oxygen or removing hydrogen. Here, example, Mg plus O2. Mg is the reactant. It accepted oxygen.
oxygen and the surfactant product NGO is formed. So magnesium undergoes oxidation or Mg is oxidized. While in the second example, reduction happened. What is reduction? It is accepting hydrogen or removing oxygen. Here, what happened to hydrogen? Hydrogen is absorbed by the reactant chlorine. That means chlorine accepted hydrogen. So it undergone reduction for chlorine. This reduced and resultant product HCl is formed. So you understood the terms what is oxidation and reduction means. Now we are moving on to the definition of redox reaction or oxidation reduction reaction. So from this particular word itself we understood what may be happening in that reaction. In redox reaction or oxidation reduction reaction both oxidation and reduction oxidation and reduction is occurring simultaneously what is meant by the term simultaneously it is meaning one after the other oxidation will be occurring to one of the reactant while reduction may be occurring to the other reactant one after the other both oxidation and reduction may be occurring in a single reaction and such type of reaction is known by the name of redox reaction or oxidation reduction reaction. You will get a clear picture while you are studying about an example the reaction between CuO and hydrogen. Copper oxide why it is reacting with hydrogen? That is, we are heating copper oxide in the presence of hydrogen. The resultant products occurring are Cu and H2O. So, let us take, while you are studying the redox reaction, your entire concentration should be only on near the LHS. You don't want to see. Only for the verification we have to see the RHS. That is, we have to first have a thorough knowledge about the reactants. Which are the reactants in this? CuO and H2. So, what happened to the first reactant? Before reaction, copper was combined with oxygen. Copper combined with oxygen and copper oxide was present. After the reaction, oxygen from the copper oxide got removed. And what is formed as the product? Copper is formed as the product. That is from the reactant copper oxide, oxygen is removed and copper in free state is formed. So what happened to this particular reactant CO here? Removal of oxygen occurred. What is meant by removal of oxygen? It is known by the name reduction. So concentrate on the reactants. Why? Well, we, before we are starting the reaction, copper was existing as copper oxide combining with oxygen. After this particular reaction, copper lost the oxygen and formed free copper. So, removal of oxygen took place and this is known by the name reduction. See the second reactant, hydrogen. Hydrogen, before the reaction, it was in the molecular state or free state. And after the reaction, what happened to hydrogen? Hydrogen received oxygen. Initially, hydrogen was in molecular state. After the reaction, hydrogen received oxygen and formed water molecule. So, what happened here? Acceptance of oxygen or receiving of oxygen took place there. So, what happens to the reactant H2? H2 undergoes oxidation. So here, there were two reactants, copper oxide and hydrogen. One of the reactants got reduced while other reactants got 
oxidized. Both oxidation and reduction took place simultaneously and as a result the reaction is termed as redox reaction. So please try to answer the question. Which is the reactant that undergone oxidation? Listen to my question. Which is the reactant or substance that undergone oxidation? So concentrate the energies. Reactant. I asked you about reactant. There are two reactants. That is copper oxide and hydrogen. So which is the reactant that undergone oxidation? Hydrogen. Hydrogen is the reactant that undergone oxidation to the product H2O. So answer is first answer. Oxidized re reactant is hydrogen. Second question. Which is the reactant that undergone production? There are two reactants CuO and H2. Here CuO is the reactant that undergone reduction by losing its oxygen. So the answer, the reactant that undergone reduction is CuO. Children, please don't make any mistakes. While answering, please don't look to the product side. That means answer will be, when we are asking about reactant, answer will be from the LHS. So the reactant that undergone oxidation is H. H2. Reactant oxidized is H2 while the reactant reduced is CuO. Next, we are moving on two different terms. One is oxidizing agent and other is reducing agent. Terms oxidizing agent and reducing agent is going to be discussed. So, I will give the definition for oxidizing agent. Oxidizing agents are the reactants that undergone reduction. The reactant that undergone reduction is known to be oxidizing agent. And on the other hand, reducing agent means it is the reactant that undergone oxidation. Oxidizing agent is a reactant. We are talking about the reactants only. It is a reactant that undergone reduction. And reducing agent is the reactant that undergone oxidation. So in this particular example, which is the oxidizing agent? Which is the reactant that undergone reduction? The reactant reduced is CuO. So here the oxidizing agent is CuO. And in this particular reaction, which may be the reducing agent? Reducing agents are reactants that undergone oxidation. So in this particular reaction, which is the reactant that got oxidized? It is H2. So this is all about this redox reaction. Oxidation and reduction is occurring simultaneously. We have studied an example in which reaction between copper oxide and hydrogen on heating is occurring and products are copper and water. One of the reactant loses its oxygen and undergone reduction. Another reactant gained oxygen and undergone oxidation. The reactant oxidized is H2. Reactant reduced is CuO. Then two different terms we studied is oxidizing agent and reducing agent. Oxidizing agent is the reactant that undergone reduction in that reaction. So which is the reactant that undergone reduction? That is CuO. So CuO is the oxidizing agent. And what is reducing agent? It is the reactant that undergone oxidation. In this particular reaction, the reactant oxidized is hydrogen. So it is known to be the reducing agent. Consider the second example. Reaction between zinc oxide and carbon. That is zinc 
oxide when reacting with carbon and it is getting heated up two products are formed it is zinc and carbon monoxide it is not carbon dioxide for the dioxide there will be two co2 will be carbon dioxide but it will be only one oxygen so this is carbon monoxide mono means one one oxygen so zinc plus carbon monoxide is formed so we are going to verify what type of reaction it is for that we should look to the reactants this the first reactant is zinc oxide what happens to zinc oxide after this reaction zinc oxide initially had oxygen but after the reaction it loses its oxygen and becomes zinc so the first reactant zinc oxide loses its oxygen so what is meant by removal or losing of oxygen it is known by the name reduction so what happened to zinc oxide zinc oxide reduced to zinc and consider the second reaction carbon initially carbon was in free state after the reaction what happened to carbon carbon become carbon monoxide that is oxygen atom was added to carbon forming the product carbon monoxide so what happened to carbon the reaction carbon carbon added a oxygen or oxidation took place for carbon resulting into the formation of the product carbon monoxide so what type of reaction is this here both oxidation and reduction took place simultaneously so this is the example of a redox reaction now i try to answer the question which is the reactant oxidized which is the reactant oxidized there are two reactants one is zinc oxide and carbon which is the reactant oxidized it is none other than carbon carbon is the reactant carbon undergone oxidation to form carbon monoxide so the reactant oxidized is carbon then second question the reactant reduced concentrate to the lectures we are talking about reactant so there are two reactants one is zinc oxide and carbon zinc oxide is the reactant which from which oxygen is removed so zinc oxide is the reactant which undergoes reduction or it is the reactant that is reduced then which is the oxidizing agent of this particular reaction what are oxidizing agents oxidizing agent is a reactant that undergoes reduction reactant which undergoes reduction is known to be oxidizing agent so what is the answer here which one that is a reactant reduced is zinc oxide so in this particular reaction which is the oxidizing agent it is zinc oxide fourth one reducing agent what are reducing agents the reactants that undergone oxidation are known to be reducing agents so which is the particular reactant that is undergone oxidation here it is carbon so in this particular reaction the re reducing agent is carbon and oxidizing agent is zinc oxide the reactant oxidized is carbon reactant reduced is zinc oxide oxidizing agent is zinc oxide and reducing agent is carbon so i hope this two with this two examples you are very much familiar to the topic redox reaction try to solve the problems yourself i will be giving you another one example uh, or a homework through the whatsapp try to do it and write and send me the picture of that particular portion it a homework to be taken and sent to the 10th chemistry group see you later thank you